Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. I promised you a conquest today, so we're going to give it a go. We're going to be going for World Apart. Um, it's the hardcore equivalent of boss mode, so we need to kill all of the following bosses within 20 minutes of the start of the game. Now, 1, 2, 3 in Act 1. 1, 2, 3 in Act 2. 1, 2, 3, 4... In Act 3, 1, 2, 3 in Act 4, and 1, 2, 3 in Act 5. It should be doable. We've done this before. Uh, mostly I'm just talking to fill out the amount of time so that I can actually watch my uh, my clock as it ticks over into the next minute. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of running around. Uh, depending on which act we start in, I'm probably just going to go straight for Act, well, whichever boss happens to be in there. So let's give it a go. We have dropped it down to Torment 10, just to make sure that it's fine. Okay, we'll go straight for Malthiel to start off with. Now this is a lot easier than it used to be, because they've changed the positions of the, um, the teleport gates in here. It used to be a lot of pain and annoyance to actually find where you were going before you could do anything about killing Malthiel. Now I've not bothered changing the equipment over at all, we're just going entirely with running through and teleporting and tactical positioning and all stuff like that, so hoping it's going to be very quick. There's going to be a couple of boss fights where things do naturally slow down um, just because the um, the cutscenes take a bit of time. There we go. He is gone. We've got to wait until he finishes his death throws before we can teleport, but we'll go after Urzil next. There we go, we can go now. Oh, I'm taking those. <laughs> Wasting precious seconds, but... That's the way of it. Now, luckily, Urziel is actually marked. This is not the way. I'm supposed to be looking at the map and I'm not looking as I go. So high cooldown reduction helps with this. Uh, Krell's buff belt would have helped as well, but I don't think we're really going to need it. If we do struggle, we can always try again. Teleport down and through. Just let me scooch on past all of this. Such a such a roundabout way to go. Right, we're here. My master has begun. Yes, whatever. So frustrating because he gets frozen and it takes longer for him to actually enter the next stage of his thing, but we'll carry on making it work. This is not the way, it's going to be around here. I 
Oh, wait, have I already got here? That's going to be... It. No, that is not the way to go. Following the indicator to the damn portal. And I don't need that at all. This could be bad because there's an entire section that I didn't end up seeing because of that. Fleeting Shrine, that will help. We can be hopeful. Don't care about that. I just want the way on. And I think that we've ended up going the wrong way because of this. It's so hard to guess though. Out my way, bloody things. Right, we teleport through here. And then through this bit. I am so good. I am hey! Alright, that it didn't end up being the wrong way. Right, okay. To act one, we're going straight for the butcher. This is not a fast run so far. So we might have to rethink this. That's the entrance. Ah, oh, we're getting so unlucky. Back the other way we go. I am so good. I astound myself. Not ready yet. I shouldn't be grabbing those, but at the same time, I don't want to be at a complete loss for things after all this time around here and down man we have already spent so much time not going back for it Okay, we're moving on. Let's do the Queen. She's going to be another long one. Ah, oh, this place is the worst for navigating. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Oh my word. So we're already eight minutes in, which is terrible for the amount of progress that we've done. So many dead ends. We just have to really hope that we're going to get lucky. Nothing. 
Don't care about that. We're just going after the queen. Right, she died in one go, which is great. Uh, we need to do the Skeleton King. Luckily, the Skeleton King is going to be very straightforward. We can just ignore all this stuff. Get past all that. And we can teleport across this. No, oh, it did not quite get all the way up though. So we're going to need to go to Act 2 next. Soon as he's done. Back to straight for Zoltan Cool. There we go. Next up, Belial. So we've done a lot of the difficult ones first. So it should be easier on the navigation front for a lot of what we've got left. So we can just go straight in before the teleport's ready. So we're only 11 minutes in at the moment. I think I've got these ideally positioned to kill anything that's nearly ideally positioned. Right, one there, one there. It'll be Magda next. Okay, he's done. So we might just manage this, actually. <laughs> Calm yourself. I'll get you out. Runs away to go elsewhere. That's the kind of hero I am. thought it was going to vanish. Oh, came back though. That surprised me. Okay, that's all Act 2 done. Act 3, we've got Asmodan. We'll also have Gom. Uh, we'll have the Siege Breaker, Salt Beast. run through is going okay. All these death breaths getting left behind. Just ignore them. We've got a mission to do. Into the heart of sin we go. He's done. Let's go do the Siege Breaker, the Salt Beast. Uh, then, as I said, we've got Gom and Sadia to take out.
Yeah, teleported past the obstacle. All it takes is a couple of seconds of things disrupting you. And everything falls apart. Totally just cheating there. Oh, I thought I might be able to get all the way through to the other side. Okay, edge of the abyss. The beast is down indeed, onto Sadia, and then we'll do Gom. 16 minutes in, this is going to be very tight. Oh my god, get out of the way! That was my terrible timing and positioning of stuff. That was better. All very quiet. That actually went really well for us. Although, time is running away. Okay, on to kill Gom. Come on, let me do it. There we go. I probably got the wrong skill for opening doors as well. Just saying. Really throwing a problem in the mix. Eighteen minutes. This is uh, this is going to be really tight. Okay, Act Four, and we'll start with uh, with Rakanos. Nineteen minutes. I don't think we've got enough time. We've got three bosses left to go. And it's all is well next. Uh, it's all down to the navigation in the first areas. Right, we're gonna have to do this as a left wall hug and hope.
So it really depends on if we can find the great span quickly or not. That's 20 minutes. I don't think there's enough time. It's going to be really, really tight. Oh my god, get away. Everything could just go away. Leave me alone. This is going to be the point where I decide, actually, you know what? It would be worth us having uh, Krelm's belt. We're going to be we're going to be just short. Uh, where's Diablo there? So I've got 15 seconds left. That's not going to be enough time. Even being forgiving for loading with stuff like this getting in the way, that's just not going to happen. Although I could have drunk my potion there to bust through the wall. That's that's me just not being intelligent. My word, how many how many elites are getting in the way? Oh, just let me through. We, we're going to do it with like uh, just one minute too late, but so we're currently at twenty-two minutes. Unless it takes into consideration the loading times. And I honestly don't think it will. But we'll 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 see. So we, we have to wait for it to actually finish doing this before we can have a look and see if we got it, but I'm pretty certain that won't have counted. Diablo and Iswal were out of time. Okay, not to worry everyone, we're going to try again. Um, we're going to do just a small tweak to our character. So, over here, Krelm's buff belt. Gain 25% run speed. This effect is lost for five... For, uh, for five seconds after taking damage. We're not taking damage at all, so we can very safely just put that on, and that will give us a very nice speed boost. We'll teach corruption. Uh, the main reason why I wanted this was the flawless royal topaz. I wasn't going to leave that on the ground. Uh, it, did it lose us a little bit of time? Almost certainly. Was it worth it? Yeah. Because we'll just try this again. So, take two. <laughs> And hopefully my navigation skills will be a little bit better this time. So I'm just waiting for my timer to tick up. And here we go. So we're going to be significantly faster, as you can already see. I honestly didn't think this was necessary, and I still don't think it's necessary, but if you get turned around, go the wrong direction a couple of times, you will very easily lose so much time that it actually ends up making a big difference. It, it gives you leeway, if nothing else. And I really should have changed my skill over from uh, 
arcane torrent to disintegrate. But it is what it is. Right, let's speed our way to the end of this. Unfortunately frozen, but that'll be okay. Okay, items start appearing, we can start leaving. Did not mean to pick that up. <laughs> now this is actually giving us an indicator for Adria this time. Uh, of course, knowing what these places are like, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in this direction that we have to go, but... At least once we get a bit closer, we'll we'll have an idea for how far off off uh, off track we are. Yeah. Well, extra experience for doing an event. Sure, I'll definitely take that. Yay! Straight on through. That couldn't have gone better. Okay, finally Urzil. We're going to have to navigate through the streets ourselves, but that's fine. We'll generally do this as a left wall hug. Unless we spot the specific bit. Now I know that there's that entire section that I missed up there. I'm just being hopeful. And look at this. Straight on through. Come on, show yourself, mate. Stop you stop you yammering. He's gone. Uh, so on to Act One to the butcher. Sorry, Gobbo, this time I'm going to ignore you. Can't be going that way when I gotta be going this way. End up distracting me and tempting me with delicious, delicious plans. And we know I'm weak, we know that I will give in, so I just won't get tempted. That's the way I get around it. Okay, let's go do the Queen. After the Queen, we're going for the Skeleton King. This is not the way. We haven't done it yet, Cormac. We've got many more things to kill. 
it would really help if I could teleport effectively. Didn't see that coming, did you? Maybe down here, if we're lucky. Nope. Very unlucky. We're going to find we've gone completely the wrong way and it's actually right over the far side. this another bit down here or is this no that was just a dead end okay over this side this looks more promising We're lucky it'll be up here. Yeah, this is it. That took way longer than I would have liked. Oh, she tried to get away. Okay, on to kill the Skeleton King. Zips through all that. I think it was mostly by accident more than by design, but that means we've got our teleport ready to go over here and up the side better this time. going to act two and gonna go and kill Zoltan Cool. I dislike where it'll sometimes just walk up to the thing and not actually activate it. Even though like you've explicitly clicked on it to activate it. That was speedy. Yeah, that looks to be better arranged than the previous ones. One there, one there. Of the Lord of Hell! Okay, on to kill Magda. Zoop, zoop, teleporting right on through. I mean, if you were one of those minions, you'd be thinking, what the hell? Yeah. 
Okay, one, two, three. That's all done from there. So on to the Siege Breaker Assault Beast. I've got a better feeling we're doing a lot better on our timings. Frenzy Shrine, don't care. Oh! Whimsydale. We'll, we'll remember that Whimsydale is on the Act 3 bridge. I hope I'll remember that Whimsydale is on the Act 3 bridge. We're, we're definitely not going to have time to actually go to it this episode, but... I'm also wondering if it's even really worth us going to it at only Torment 10 compared to just generally adventuring at Torment 13. I think Torment 13, sorry, Torment 13, Torment 16 is really where we want to be doing all of our stuff. Right, on to Sadia. And then we've got Gom and then we've got Asmodan to do. This time... This time I killed everything in the corner that might have gotten in our way. Always cover your bottlenecks. If you know where they are, it makes it a lot easier. One down. Now this one always changes. But there are several potential options for how it gets laid out. So if you've got an idea for how they're arranged, you can sort of plan ahead. Like that. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just on my way to kill Sidia. Now, there's still not going to be much in it, but there's going to be enough. We'll do Gom next. Asmodan's a nice easy one. Gom will take a teeny bit longer. Hopefully not much. Blam blam, nothing in between us and the way forwards. Come on, let's use the teleport. Zoop, zoop. Rocketing forwards. That was unfortunate. A lot more mobs than I was expecting in very close confines. That's all right, we're free and clear. On to Act 4, starting with Rakanoth as always. Let's 
pull them out the way to the side. <laughs> Just dodge round them. We don't care about fighting them this time, we just care about getting past them. That's a ring. I shouldn't grab it, but I'm gonna grab it. Just in case it's... Because if it's the Convention of Elements, then I would kick myself. Okay, we're going to try and go around to the left, if there is a left wall hug for us to do. That is not the case there. That didn't cost us anything for just running over the same bit of ground. I love how I'm, I'm justifying all these bad decisions that I'm making. It's like, that, that was okay, that one was fine, that didn't matter. We are a lot better on the time. Need more time. Right, on to kill Diablo. So we're going to go left wall hug this time and hope to hell it's the right way to go. This is not the right way to go. I'm just warming up. So completely not the right way to go. Oh my word, we're getting snagged on everything. I should have gone through that. That would have been faster for us. Don't mind me guys, just hopping along your little bridge. You don't need to pay any attention to me. I'm I'm not really here. I'm a figment of your imagination. Nephilim don't exist. Oh, we've got plenty of time. He says hoping. Really hoping. Flat. And that should be that. Worlds apart, everyone killed in under 20 minutes. I think we did that in like 18 minutes, maybe 18 and a half minutes. But that was awesome. We've got so many death breaths and things uh, left around. This is not going to be the convention of elements. Broken promises. It's, it's not bad. Um, I'm not going to go back to, to Whimsydale. As, as nice a place as it is, running at Torment 10 in Whimsydale isn't going to be as productive as us doing, just doing more rifts. So it's it's really not gonna not gonna be worth it. I will, however, ID the stuff that we've got. Just in case these are better. The intelligence is better. The vitality is significantly worse. So that's a no. The intelligence is worse, there's no vitality, and that is just generally worse. So we'll uh We'll store that as a spare. We'll store that as a spare and we'll salvage these up. But I'd still say that we did pretty damn well overall. We got our second conquest done uh, and that means we just need to think about, uh, well, the, the remaining ones. So curses, we could grind for curses. 
Uh, kill 350 or more monsters in a cursed chest event at level 70 on Torment 10 or higher. There are specific chests that you can get 350 monsters on. Um, so it's definitely something we could do. We could change to Veer's Amazing Arcana and get the full Chandotto's Explosion stuff going on as well to help us out. It's it's not impossible. Um, the other thing is we could turn into a Leak Quake Barbarian and try and do that as well as doing like Dynasty. Dynasty would be doable. Six of the following class sets. We could do four of our sets and two Barbarian sets. So there, there's definitely many, many things that we can do. Um, but that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope, as always, you have enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then how the hell are you still watching these videos? Go ahead and hammer that button and you'll be told when the next video goes live. Otherwise, see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon.